it's an absolute disaster in here. Uh, one of my goals this weekend is to paint downstairs. I've got the paint here. I've got the paint sprayer. It shouldn't take too long. I think the hardest part of that project is actually going to be getting everything cleaned up in here because it is just disaster. We've been working upstairs, so everything down here has just been getting kind of set down and left and forgotten about, and I just can't take it anymore. I know once we get the kitchen area painted, I'll be able to move all of these boxes over there until we're ready to get the kitchen put together, which is hopefully soon, but we'll see. Alright, that is so much better. You can actually walk around in here without jumping over everything. And, uh, looks good. I've, we do have the gas line here. We've just got to get it cut and then we're going to have to rent a pipe threader so that we can get the pipes attached, I guess. I don't know exactly how it works, but hopefully we can get that done this weekend. That'll be checked off once the gas line is in. Greg will have no more excuses for finishing the plumbing and the electrical in the bathroom and utility room. He'll have to get that all ticky-boo and then we can close those walls up. We are up in the bedroom today. We are going to get the bathroom wrapped up. We've got to get in the sink. We're going to put in the electrical. I do have a light that we were thinking might not work in here, but I think we're going to install it anyways and just kind of see how it looks and hopefully hopefully it's okay and we don't have to change it, but we'll just see how it goes. And uh, then this room will be officially wrapped up. We've got all the trim milled, so we're just waiting for that stuff to dry out and then we can do that. But I'm looking forward to wrapping up the bathroom and then we can start working on stuff downstairs. I feel like we have quite a few unfinished projects that just want to get wrapped up so we can 
clear our list, clear our minds of all the things we feel like we need to do and uh, start fresh on some new stuff. So yeah, probably going to be all over the place this video, but that is the reality of building a house. I hear Greg coming up with supplies, so we're just going to get into it. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly stuff. Uh, I have small hands. Mine are too big for this task. Whew, this is going to take a long time. <laughs> Halfway there. <laughs> Almost got it. I think we're gonna be good. Is this how this works? There we go. We've got the light fixture installed. We've got the switch installed. Greg is just going to get it hooked up so that we can get some power coming through to see how it looks. We can't decide if we want the light fixture pointing up or down. We may or may not have put the light uh, octagon box a little too low. So if we put the light down, it means a smaller mirror, but I don't know if that's too big of a deal. So we're going to try them both out. So Greg is Jimmy rigging. Not Jimmy rigging. <laughs> I'm doing a test properly. Yeah. With real power. A Jimmy Rig test. No, it's not Jimmy Rig. <laughs> yes, it no. is. No. Oh, ah, I love it. That's freaking bright. That's good. It's what you want. I don't think that's fixed. Oh, there's a drywall error. <laughs> Holy forever. That light isn't the right light, though. With the bottom like that, it's got to shine down as well. Yeah. But that's okay. What about the hot light? Ah! Oh! Ah! It's fucking bright in here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I can pluck my eyebrows. Yeah. Yay! Well, that's... Wow, like, who painted this place? I know. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the... Holy fucking... Oh my. Anyway, well, then... It's where you poop, so yeah, I guess. Yeah, totally. It's where you poop, so I guess. <laughs> I don't know who did the drywall and the paint in here. Holy but... <laughs> sh! Oh my! <laughs> there are some very bad spots. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is where you poop, so whatever, I guess. <laughs> Maybe when we do renovations, we'll fix it, but I'm sure as hell not getting back into this. Yeah. This is a room that was very dark, and we didn't have natural light in here really anyways that's my excuse <laughs> hopefully this doesn't happen in the rest of the house katie has been a little bummed out because it's been so hot and it feels like nothing's happening here and really not much is happening on the house we've been tinkering a little here and doing a little there there's other things i need tending to but i think tonight is going to be a big change we got the circuit tested in the bathroom works great so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to work as hard as i can to get all of the receptacles on the circuit that is our bedroom finished so that's not the lights that's just the walls maybe it's the lights i don't know i might be able to get the lights we've got a circuit up here and a circuit in the walls so lights are on one circuit everything else is on the other circuit so 
Maybe I'll get them both together. Maybe I'll get them both together. Yeah, I'm gonna get them both together. And she'll feel really good about that because we're sleeping up here and we don't even have power up here other than an electrical cord that comes up or our little anchor powerhouse. Um, yeah, so it's hot outside. There's an air conditioner blowing cool air at me right there. I'm motivated. I'm gonna get to this. Just been editing. Greg got these lights installed. He got the bedroom back set up again. And now we're gonna see how it looks. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Don't be standing near any wires. I don't want you getting zapped. <laughs> Three, two, one. Power. Wow. Those are nice. That looks amazing. I love it. We are gonna have different light bulbs because as you saw in the bathroom vanity, far too bright. Those are just little reading lights. They don't need to be that bright. But... Oh, me. <laughs> it looks awesome. Yeah, we won't be using 60 watt lights. Ah, there we go. Sweet. I like them. We will easily, easily have enough light up here. For sure, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, bus does not have enough light, so we may have gone overboard on the lights. Oh. Yeah. And my desk. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I wired that in today. All this. And just in time for the wildfire smoke to really be starting to set in, we've got the HRV up installed upstairs greg is currently getting it set up downstairs which will be pulling in fresh air which is going to be really good because i walked out to the bus a little while ago and the smoke is very strong smelling and i just had a headache when i was out there so fresh air in here is going to be so good from the sunshine yeah we are just got back from town upon further inspection of the ceiling fan and how to install them and everything we've realized that we don't actually need a angled adapter for it which is really good news because we can't find one in town anyways and there's a little amount of slope to our ceiling so it's not so there is um, what's it called on the fan. There's a little bit of leeway in the fan when you install it on a little slope. 
it will move with this it will stay level with the slope yeah because it's got this little piece right here yeah. that sits in there it's only the steep slope ceilings that you would need an angle adapter so. sure so very happy about that that is a win and uh, we're gonna get this ceiling fan installed so that we can get some circulation in here we also got some better light bulbs for the reading lights above the bed and for the bathroom so we're going to install those Install them. Install them. Ah, <laughs> this is worse than an Ikea anything. The holes don't line up. Greg has been struggling with that. I got all of the outlet covers installed right there. Uh, we've got down there, which those will not line up. Bed, everywhere is good. Except for also the the stairway light, which we don't have running yet anyway, so we don't need to worry about that one. Uh, it's starting to feel very finished in here, and uh, it's pretty exciting. Now that we've got the heat recovery ventilation unit installed, we are noticing that it is smaller than the hole. It's not covering the edge. So what we're gonna do is put some wood trim around there. I do wanna put open shelving up here, so that stuff's kinda gonna be behind the shelving anyways. And uh, I think it'll look nice. Well, we have some lights. It's Super nice. Really cozy in here. It's cozy in here. And uh, the ceiling fan is really nice too. It's so making it work. Very happy to have made some progress because I'm starting to feel like we were really behind, but 
It's looking really good in here and I'm super happy. Are you happy? I try to tell Katie all the time, it's good to almost finish every job and have a ton on the go. Cause you have weekends like this where you can just get a bunch of things done. So yeah, I'm happy. Feels yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Now we just need to finish the vapor barrier downstairs and put up the rest of the drywall, hook up the plumbing, finish the rest of the electrical, install the floor, install the cabinets, order the kitchen gas counter, line. Uh, gas, Ugh. Drop anyway. three grand on appliances. Yeah. Oh, three grand. Oh, that's fun. Something like that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>